of bucks is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking this, the time out just to be able to you know, connect with one another, being able to send each other loving vibes, you know, we're all coming from a different walk of life, and it's such a beautiful uh, experience to be able to connect with you um, on such a beautiful level, so with that being said, much love to all, namaste, love and blessings, and love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way, and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell, oh my goodness, my nose are itching, <laughs> hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact and give, how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you find the, very, the videos very informative to you or even give you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so. You know, especially if somebody's going through some really dark times right now and need confirmation or validation towards their life. Um, and also give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, whatever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today my um meditation music that i'm listening to is 741 hertz meditation for uh for removes toxin shining aura body mind soul of flower and i will post this link in the description box below i like this like this cover on it it's so beautiful and show y'all the picture it's like the girl in the lotus flower position and she has all these bright colors around her i love that's how I usually get my videos when I see a picture that really sticks out to me, I, especially the title as well. You know, I like to go ahead and use that, but I've used this one before and it's very powerful. So I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video, um, let me turn this down a little bit. Um, today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, because the most important important discovery is self-discovery it is you know that it should be your number one you know priority um being able to give yourself that self-care uh when we go through spiritual awakenings and you know uh ascension um kundalini dark night of the soul it breaks us down to where like we're raw <laughs> you are just raw it's like an open wound you know because that gives you that time space and time to be able to put together you know when it feels like your your life has been thrown all apart and it's falling all apart that's the time for you to be able to contribute towards making the best version of yourself being able to find out who you truly are what is behind that person you know um it's scary when we have been with ourselves this whole time nobody should know us better than we know ourselves but it sometimes it's sad to say it takes something very tragic, very spontaneous just to happen to us for us to learn who we truly are. You know, it, it's a scary thing when I can look back on my, my situation. I've been going through spiritual awakenings my whole life damn near. <laughs> I'm, like I told you, I've been doomed from the womb. Anybody who's a hey, Oka, or, you know, just went through the most craziest stuff, you've been doomed from the womb. I mean, you took a struggle just to get in the world and you knew it was like all hell about to break loose. But it took me to go through so many different tragedies to be able to find my worth, being able to find that person that I loved, um, being able to be comfortable in my own skin. I'm still forming that. You know, I love myself in all aspects, but if there's things that I want to change about myself, I'm working on that. Being able to find the best person version of myself, being able to lead by example. And I love the things that I do, you know, being able to study and learn, learning more about myself, what more does the universe have to teach me being able to be a conduit for the universe to use for me to bring out messages towards you is such such a beautiful thing um being able to find yourself and being comfortable with that is you know is a beautiful experience sometimes it can be a you know scary sad you know make you feel like you're gonna lose your last mind but after all the things that's said and done 
I can really look at it. It's like there's times I have bad days. Not, not everybody's going to have, you know, a positive day. It ain't going to be skip-toeing to, through tulips, like I always say, you know. But it gives you that chance to step back and look at the bigger picture. See yourself in a positive perspective. Why did you have to go through the things you had to go through? Because it took you to have to go through all these things to get to where you are now. When we head through that storm, we are never the same person that started this journey going to end up with. But you're going to be more appreciating, uh, more appreciative about the person that you're getting to know towards the end of this thing. You're, you're going to see everything you went through was worth it. You know, being able to, you know, heal from things that was meant to break you. Being able to see the tragedy in your lives to be able for you to know your worth. Being able to love yourself. Being able to attract that love towards you. Um being able to you know just know yourself on all levels and it's just like being on that 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 journey of self-discovery it i mean it can be very mind-blowing because it's just like when i i mean when i can sit up here and open myself up and just being able to be blessed to be able to help other people you know i've been on one-on-one -on -one with people and they tell me a little bit about their self and just from that little bit about their self i can tell them certain categories they probably weren't even aware of their self being able to see things from a different perspective, being biased, um, knowing that you're willing to help somebody in that positive way, to nurture them, to be able to educate them as you learn from them, they're learning from you. Being able to teach you as you're teaching them is a beautiful thing, you know, when it can be reciprocated like that. And um, being on that road to self-discovery, you tend to learn a lot of things that you can't even probably comprehend. You're still learning things that probably, you probably like, what the what? <laughs> what the what I'm really this I'm really that you know I've looked at my life and you know there's times I you know I ask myself and can be bawling my eyes out saying why did I have to go through this why am I in so much pain but then I can see that you know the mistakes I made the setbacks I made when I make my videos there's other people knowing you know I used to tell people I'm glad that y'all learning from my f-ups <laughs> you know being able to know that somebody can relate to the things that I connect with and go through with on a daily basis is just a blessing to know that you're not the only one going through this situation you're on that road and knowing that you're not on that journey by yourself knowing there's somebody that you could connect with going to connect with there's going to add that missing piece of the puzzle that you desperately needed at that time being able to learn from them as they're learning off of you being able to be open to different realities being able to be open to so many spiritual gifts that's been placed upon you being able to elevate yourself and be open towards those gifts being able to willing to be able to learn and not put fear in the equation is truly a blessing you know um knowing that you can contribute or sending love towards the world you know it, it, it's tragic that we all got to go through these crazy spiritual awakenings to know who we truly are but that's probably you know it'll probably be more effective you know because i always ask myself why do we got to go through these crazy things for for us to be able to know who we are and i said okay if an angel just tapped you on your shoulder and say oh excuse me sam did you know you were this and this and that you're not gonna pay attention <laughs> you're not gonna pay attention you're like oh okay whatever but then it takes something to just to be you know just really gonna knock you on your behind for you to be able to sit down and listen to what the universe has to tell you what kind of gift that they're putting in your 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 life but it has to be a tragedy and a blessing at the same time for you to appreciate that tragedy that headed you towards that blessing being able to know that you are not the same person that was affected when you get ready to go through all your healing techniques and healing journeys or whatever going through that 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 journey of finding yourself your true self being in your true form being able to see yourself for who you truly are knowing you're going to be a blessing towards yourself and many others along the way uh is a beautiful thing you know and it's sad that we have to go through traumatic experiences to find that out but you know it is a beautiful thing and it can probably make you cry when you can look at the most darkest places come the most biggest love you know and it is it's, it's sad when the people that have been broken bent knocked out of shape a little bit is the ones who love the hardest love the most um being able to see the beauty and things that other people took advantage of is really a blessing um when you can 
you know, I really hate using the word broken because I really feel like nobody's not broken. You might be bent out of shape a little bit, but not actually broken. So I feel like when you when you say that, it's just like you're not fixed. You know, because when something's sometimes it's broke, you can't fix certain things. But I feel like, you know, we're misplaced on certain parts that, you know, when we're on that that road, we're able to put back together on the pieces of the puzzle that we need to fit in certain directions, you know, certain shapes. You know, we're all light working earth angels, uh, pushing out love and positivity, even though it can be hard, especially towards the people that are the ones that, you know, put us in a certain situations that we're in. Being able to look at them and say, thank you for allowing this to happen to me, because if it wasn't for this situation, I would have never knew who I was. You know, I look at my situation and yes, it, you know, there's a lot of things that I wish it could have went differently, but it was a purpose for it going the way it did. Um, being able to look at my tragedy and see it as a blessing on so many aspects. For me, knowing who I am, knowing I, what I have to offer towards many people, being able to relate and connect with others is, you know, something that, you know, is it's a beautiful connection to be able to do. Being able to show, share my life story with other people to connect to let you know you know even though you might be in a very drastic dark place that doesn't mean you need to stay there you can head towards the light at the end of the tunnel there is a light at the end of the tunnel you just have to give yourself time you know it takes it takes time to be able to get towards things that are very valuable and worth saving but you have to be able to see it for yourself and know you know you don't have to stay in that place that somebody placed you in you know you don't have to keep getting hurt allowing that same person or even the memory of that certain tragedy to keep affecting you like it did and actually learn from the situation that has been placed upon you and knowing you know that person that you you, you really see yourself from you pull all the layers uh off and being able to be blessed to say you know this is the real me all of me either like it or love it or leave me the heck alone is, is a really beautiful thing to be able to experience and you know when you're on that self-discovery that line of self-discovery you're gonna find out many things about yourself that might shock you you know because it's crazy when you think you know yourself you really don't know yourself until you have really been put in a situation for you to learn different things about yourself you weren't even aware of so i hope you're able to you know resonate with that you know please drop me a line i would love to get your feedback on this this uh content um like and subscribe even hit that notification bell drop me a line or two i would love the chance to you know uh share my love with you and my knowledge as you do the same with me and you know much love to you my post notification shout out goes to Ja for life um ruku Vaughn and Diamond King and Zoo Scott, much love to you, many blessings, and I hope y'all have a blessed, prosperous week, sounds much love and light and positivity as you possibly can, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out here praying for your better days, I don't know what this video did, but it got me on a euphoric feeling, so I will see y'all on my next video, much love to you, peace, be wild.